The first type of cell, the place cell, is the cell that fires at a specific location, known as the cell's place field. The second type of cell, the grid cell, is located in the interrhinal cortex and serves as an input to the place cell in the hippocampus. But unlike place cells, grid cells use a hexagonal tessellating pattern which allows for cell firing to contain information about the distance and the angle to other firing locations. The third type of cell is called the border cell. Located also in the antirhinal cortex, it also fires exclusively when an animal is at the edge of a place field, giving the animal cues about the parameters of the local environment. And finally, the head directional cell is known to fire when the animal's head is facing a specific direction, independent of the animal's location. The four types of cells were discovered in a series of similar experiments. Multi-electrode arrays were inserted into either the hippocampus or the interrhinal cortex of test mice, depending on the experiment. Action potentials were then recorded while the mice changed positions in space. This video shows a recording of a mouse's place cells as it travels through a maze. Each color represents a different population of cells in the rat's hippocampus. As you can see, each area of the maze is mapped onto a different group of place cells, allowing the mouse to determine where in the maze it currently is. These areas are called place fields, and depending on which place field the mouse is in, the cells will fire. The experiment that discovered head direction cells was conducted by changing the direction the head of each mouse was facing and observing the action potentials recorded at each direction. For example, one head directional cell might fire the most at 45 degrees. The corresponding graph would then look like this, with the peak of action potential firing at 45 degrees and falling off in other directions. So how do brains record boundaries between areas? This is the exact question that researchers were looking at when they performed their experiment. They looked at brain activity in 624 principal neurons in the medial and thyroidal cortex. And what they found was that previously unknown entheridinal cells fired exclusively along the walls of the enclosure. So as the mouse got close to the enclosure, specific neurons exhibited a specific firing pattern, and they deemed those neurons border cells. Researchers define border cells as cells with border scores above 0.5 in a scale of negative 1 to 1, meaning that the border cells' firing fields lined up with more than half of the length of the wall. As you can see here, this circle represents the firing field of the uh, border cell, and the little dots represent neural activity in the orientation of the wall. Grid cells. Grid cells basically allow you to understand your position in space. Neurons fire when a freely moving animal traverses a set of small regions or firing fields. These firing fields are arranged in a hexagonal lattice that covers the entire available environment. To explain this, we'll go over here. The firing field looks similar to this. Um, when a mouse goes past these points or goes closer to these points, the specific neuron for that firing field will fire in the brain. These grid cells are found through all layers of the dorsal caudal medial and terrinal cortex, but are most densely located in layer two. The most interesting thing is these uh, firing fields are anchored to external landmarks. So grid cells may be a part of a self motion based map of the spatial environment. Our take-home message is that spatial maps are stored in the hippocampus and entheronal cortex, which includes border cells and grid cells. The information is stored in hexagonal grids, in which place cells tell you where you are. In addition, border cells tell you where the borders of your environment are, and head direction cells tell you where you're looking to orient yourself within this environment. Hope this video was helpful.